So essentially is what you've done here is you've put the pointer down on top of the number one piston. And now we're just gonna watch as you rotate the, so you're gonna actually rotate the crank with the pointer on the crank. And we're gonna watch this thing. So it went away, it went down. Come back at it. Piston's coming up now. going until it turns around. Piston's on its way up, on its way up, on its way up. And how do you know it's coming up? You can see this thing here coming up. We'll go all the way until, there, turn around. So now, run it back the other way until you get to that turnaround point, which is gonna be, there okay so now let's zero it it's 1,000th off so let's see if we can zero it uh, we don't want to do that the reason we don't want to do that is it moves it too much so let's just do this actually need the zero to be right there okay run it down a little bit more and then turn it around and see if that bounces right off the zero okay now come back at it you can pass it we just want to make sure it passes it as it bounces off the zero okay it was just barely off did you see that yeah so let me just uh, move it a tiny bit half a thou Right there. Okay, come back around at it. See so it bounces right off the of zero. Oh, I'm a half the other way, so let me move it back. Hang on. I go here. Okay, come back around. Very good. That's pretty darn close. Yeah. Okay. So now, let's go 50 thousandths, whichever way you want to go. So we're rotating it until you see it point right on the 50. Okay, there. Okay, now we're going to come down here and we're going to mark Okay, now turn it the other way. Come back to the zero. Oh, he kept going. Go the other way. There you go. Come, come back to the zero and come back to 50. So it'll turn around at zero. Come all the way around to 50. Can you see it okay? Okay, now you gotta pass 50 and come back to it. So just go on by, go back over to 70-ish and then come back to 50. Because you wanna come at it from the same direction every time. There you go. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. Boom. Perfect, right there. Right? So now we're going to mark it here. Okay, now turn it up so that this is up here so you can measure between the centers of those two. There you go. So now what I would do is I'd take a tape measure or a little ruler and I would be, I have a bendable ruler and I'd make the center line between this one and this one and the center line between this one and this one and mark two lines and that way you could set the two lines on each side of your welding rod right there on uh, your indicator. 
Okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And that'll be top dead center exact.